Emunda, Emunda, Dil Diya Gala Kewe. Asim Azhar, he's a young, talented Pakistani musician and he's really representing the Pakistani music industry. He's been nicknamed the Pakistani Bieber and he's sometimes even called the Pakistani Bruno Mars. He's earned a lot of success at his young age and if you don't know him or if you don't know much about him, you're about to find out. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and this is a channel, of course, we talk about different countries, cultures and people from all around the world world and you guys requested Asim Azar facts and I saw it and I was like yeah this guy is talented I gotta talk about him so here's the video now if you are a fan of Asim Azar give this video a big thumbs up and if this is your first time here at FTD facts hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you don't miss any more videos like this so first off I want to start off with some basic facts Asim Azar and I we share the same birth month October but he was born on October 29th in 1996 currently he stands at five feet eight inches tall and his zodiac sign is a Scorpio now the religion that he follows he follows the religion of Islam so a lot of you fans may know these facts already but if you're somebody that just may want to know a little bit more about Asim Azar or have no idea who he is I was gonna say what he is no who he is then yeah this video is like mainly for you although fans sure yes you can watch but if you probably know these songs Sun Lake what you like we could do it all day we could do it all night Sun Ye tell you baby you need me hey it's a diva job as well as hands in the air everybody now hands hands in the air hands hands in the air those songs are mainly what Asim Azar is known for right now. Back on January 14th, 2013, he uploaded his first YouTube video and that was Whistle Punjabi Remix. And this is what it sounds like. I whistle baby, whistle baby, here we go. Born and raised in Pakistan, Asim Azar is a son of the world-renowned pianist Azar Hussain. Now, Asim has been passionate about singing since he was very, very young. And as a matter of fact, he started his singing career when he was 16 years old. Also, his family is filled with artists and talented people. Because it's not just his father that was famous. You know, his father was famous all over Pakistan for playing the piano. But also his mother. His mother, Gul Irana, was a very successful actress as well. Asim, of course, has followed in his parents' footsteps. He's like a mix of both of them. Just like extra talent, just like used together and because of that he's like really started to own his talent and you know a lot of people his age don't necessarily see that kind of fame and recognition but when he was asked about what it was really like to have this kind of success this is what he said in his own words it does get a little too much to handle at times at my age I'm supposed to be playing Xbox all day or hanging out with friends all of the time rather than rehearsing day and night doing interviews, performing, recording, and just working the whole day. I mean, yeah, I kind of get exactly what he means. You know, he's young, he wants to go hang out with friends and all of that, like 21 year olds are supposed to be doing. But I don't know, you know, there's a lot of 21 year olds that I know that are just working a lot. And maybe ask him another way to look at it is, hey, you're putting in all the work now so that you can party bigger and harder later. But I totally get it though, I was 21 once. Now, just like many rising stars coming up in the TV, music, or entertainment world in general, they have people that they look up to, they have role models, they have people that they idolize. And it's no different for Asim Azar. He really wants to, you know, go to Bollywood and maybe do some music with no other than King Khan, AKA Shah Rukh Khan. That's his idol. So that leads me to ask this question. If you were to sing or act with anyone or whatever, who would it be and why? For me, when it comes to the Bollywood world, I would love to do something with Topeka Parakone, that's just my wife right there. But you know, now she's she's taken, she's married, so I guess that's not gonna happen. Now in the Hollywood world, I'd love to do something with Morgan Freeman, you know, his voice is just the best. If you're looking to uh, improve your the sound of your voice, yawn a lot. It relaxes your vocal cords, and as soon as they relax, the tone drops. The lower your voice is, the better you sound. So if I yawned a lot, Yes. I might start sounding like 
Morgan Freeman? No, but you would certainly get a deeper voice. I told myself when I grew up, I want to talk like Morgan Freeman, and I think I'm almost there, just my voice may be a little bit too high sometimes. But let me know down below in the comment section, who would you love to work with, sing with, act with, I want to know. Now this young man, Asim Azar, he's not just a one-trick pony, he's not only talented in music, he actually stars as a second male lead in Pogli, and Pogli is a Pakistani drama series. Also, he models as well. He had walked down the ramp in the Pakistani Fashion Week in 2017 along with Noor Khan for the designer Huma Adnan. So he's just talented all around. Like, who is this guy? Now I want to dive a little bit more into his music and how he started getting a lot more recognized. Asim had sang a cover for the song A Team by Ed Sheeran. Now this was back in the year 2013 and that's where he started getting a lot of his popularity because Ed Sheeran himself praised the cover for this. This led to Asim Azar releasing his first music collection in the year 2017 that he titled Noor. This collection had five songs. There's a song titled Noor, just like the music collection. <laughs> There was Gia Sapne Sunja And the song Kuahish and you know he's talented because all of these songs became hits. But you know, he had his real big debut when he appeared on the Pakistani music reality show, Coke Studio. Asim appeared on Coke Studio on season eight in the year 2015, and he was the youngest featured artist of the season. He also was one of the contestants on Coke Studio season nine, so that was even more publicity for him. And in this season, he sang the song Terra Wo PR along with Momina Mustesan. Now this thing was massive. It went viral all across social media. And since then, he has never looked back. So this guy can sing, he can act, he can model, he can dance. But that's not all he can do. I mean, like, he has a whole nother world of talents just hidden up his sleeve. He says a lot of people that know him know this thing about him, but others that may not know him don't really know, but he's talented in sports. He loves sports, he loves cricket and football especially. He's also played for the under 16 PIA FC team. On top of being really good at playing football and cricket, he's also really good at badminton, he's a talented roller skater, and he's even good at basketball and several other sports. Like the list just keeps on going. He says that he's a really quick learner in sports, so you know, he may just go try something new and, and he gets it like just like that and he developed a skill for it. So it's just that natural talent that he just brings out and it's just it's awesome to see really now for all you female fans out there that are just so in love with Asim Azar well this next fact is for you so what type of woman is he looking for aren't you curious don't you want to find out? In an interview with Hello Pakistan, he was asked just that. You know, what would his dream girl be like? And this is what he said. A girl that I could do anything with is the girl I want to be with. I have various sides ranging from funny, loud, sophisticated, fun, happy, etc. So I would want a girl exactly like me. I would want someone who wouldn't get easily offended and would enjoy jokes with me. I would want my dream girl to be someone who I can hang around with, chill with, watch a movie with, and basically be exactly who I am. So ladies, I'm sorry, you know, if you don't fit that picture, you just don't stand a chance with Asim. He's pretty much looking for a female version of himself. Who knows, maybe that will change in a year or two or five years. But oftentimes we may have this vision in this picture of I want someone that's exactly like this and then we end up with people that are like whoa how the heck did that happen? And our ideals and beliefs and practices and ethics and morals change as we get older sometimes. But either way, it looks like Asim has a clear vision of what his relationship would look like, what his career would look like, and what his life would look like in general. So I just gotta give him credit because a lot of people at his age are just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I wanna do. But what I really learned from Asim is just, you know, you really start going after what you want 
as soon as possible. And the best way to learn in life is really by experience. Go for it, fail, learn from your mistakes, learn from other people, and then go for it again. Asim says that in 10 years from now, he sees himself with a family happily settled down in life. And career-wise, he says that his ambition is to inspire people with his work. He wants to look back and really be satisfied a lot with the work that he's produced. And he aims to continue just creating better and better music. So that was your facts on Asim Azar. You know, it's so great to see people like him that are just super talented, you know, going for it. So I'd love to hear more of your thoughts. Anything else that you want to say about Asim Azar or anything else that I spoke about in this video, sound off below in the comment section. You can also find me on social media. Those links are below in this video description. Shoot me a message. I love to see the requests of new topics for videos that you send to me every single week. Until next time, my name is Leroy Kenton and I can't wait until the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video on Asim Azar, you're definitely gonna love this video that we did about Coke Studio Pakistan. As well as we have videos about other celebrities that we have made, you can click on one of these playlists and keep on watching. And don't forget to come back to FCD Facts regularly for more videos.